Corel Draw tips and tricks. And I just kind of discovered something this morning, and I think it's going to be a big help to a lot of people. I have a pretty good monitor, but my monitor out in my shop isn't that good that I run the computer off of. And even with this monitor, if I was going to make this bigger, you know, by three inches, I cannot really see if that lock is locked, you know, the portion, the lock ratio to, so it, when I change this to five, it doesn't change my three. I can't really tell it, so I'm going to put that back. So now it's locked, but I can't really see that lock. Well, I discovered something this morning that pretty neat. Just take your mouse and I found if you kind of click on, on that line or that line, left click, customize, not just one item, but all the items, property toolbar, large button. Then you can definitely see that that lock is locked or unlocked. It's the same thing here with the weld tool. These are a lot bigger and clearer. And you can even, you know, I never could really get, you know, this is front to minus back, this is back minus front. But I'd always have to hover over them to remember which one is which. You can do the same thing, just click on this line between them, left click, customize, toolbars, caption below image. Now you've got weld, trim, intersect. It's already there, you know, back minus front. You can see your ratio proportion. It is, to me, it's a cat's meow. You can actually do the same thing in this menu bar, but there's so many of them that if you put the caption below it, it actually runs off the page. I haven't seen a reason you wouldn't want this. And to be honest with you, I don't even have to, I don't think you even have to save it. I think it'll pop back up every time. And if it doesn't, you just go to, um, save settings as default. Now this has even changed these. So it's made group bigger and it's made all these text bigger, which, uh, ju will just take some used to, you know, something to get used to, but I think it's pretty cool. Thank you and hope, hope that helped.